Hi, as from the very beginning we were discussing like when we start working in the React using JSX, we will be creating a component which will return the HTML and that we will place over the web page. So basically now we are going to do that practically using the components. Component is something using which you can make your user interface independent and a reusable piece. That when I say reusable, that means you can return that particular uh, UI on a different time without any effort. All right. So so far in any technology you have worked with, you will hardly find a reusable user interface. But using this component, you can actually do so. So let's start a practical implementation and see how to create components in React. Alright, so create your own component. First of all, what I'll do inside this app class, I will remove all the pre-written code. So I'll just remove all these things. And here, as you can see, inside this render, you can return any particular template. Alright, so for that, you can just use any of the HTML tag. Alright, like h2. And here you can write the particular text like let's say welcome to tutorials point. Alright, so let me save that. And as soon as you will save, you will see the changes are automatically reflected here. Alright, so let me say one more thing like I'll use image src is equal to as you can see uh, initially also we were using this logo. So I'm just using that itself. So I'll put that inside. Uh, curly braces and I'll say logo let me save that and here you can see there is an error alright why there is an error because whenever you want to put multiple tags inside this render function actually render will only be able to return a single parent tag so what you can do is you can simply put a div and inside this div you can put all these elements all right so there will be only one parent element that will be this div and rest will be the child which will be inside that all right so just let me put inside it and let me just do the indentation let's save it and come to the browser and now here you can see all right the height and width is not set so that's why it's taking its default size but there is a logo all right so this is how you can start creating your own components in the react.js Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.